Yes, Chase. Ooh. Mama! Get out! I got! <laughs> You finished eating? Yeah. He said, yeah, are you lying? My child lies. See how it just blink? Always do one eyebrow cuter than the other. I would really just wear primer out, like this milk primer. I would, I would literally just wear this as a moisturizer. Can you do that? It feels so good. It feels a little sticky though once it dries up a little bit because it's supposed to grip that makeup. And my foundation that I'm going in with is going to be NARS. It's the Radiant Long Wear Foundation. And this is in the shade Marquises. I think that's how I spell. I mean, sound. I don't use a lot of foundation at all. My child is yellow. Maybe like three, two and a half pumps. So we just gonna let this warm up on the face. Y'all, I wasn't even gonna talk in this video, but I feel like it's gonna save me in the long run from doing like the voiceover. So, well, stay out. Stop slamming the door. Okay, we're just gonna tap this in. And y'all, I told y'all I don't do my makeup the same every time. I don't know why. I like my son out. <laughs> In, and it's gonna be focused like on the sides of your face and then maybe blend towards your neck so that can be zoomed. But and take the excess and put it everywhere else. And maybe blend up here where the concealer is even though you can't see where the concealer is because it's just that bomb. Butter. Butter. I'm gonna try a new technique. So I've seen a girl put powder over her foundation before like the concealing and everything. So we're gonna try that out. I feel like that just kind of mattifies it. Make it look a little dry. So I won't be doing that anymore. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer if I can find my right shade. Go in with almond. It's probably a little too light, but you'll see how I blend that out. I actually do like my concealer a little brighter than normal. But that's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put this under the eye. And then we're just gonna let that dry down a bit. Oh, and the concealer I use, y'all already know, it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer, because I'm still cheap. <laughs> but no, um, I like the e.l.f. concealer, though. 
this and I'll even do like a little dab because it's brighter so I even do like a dab is it brighter this ain't the one I normally use but um just to bring a little more light into the face and while that is drying down I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes I'm not doing much to them but I'm just gonna stretch my real lashes out so it'll be easier to apply. I'm trying to keep a straight face in my mouth now. Okay. Like, look at my real lashes. Like, I want to keep them. Like, like, gotta be a bad bitch. So, I'm gonna go on with the dual, duo lash glue. Y'all, and our products, that I'm gonna be using is gonna be in the description. So if I forget, I'm sorry, okay? Look in the description. Go to my Amazon front store or Amazon storefront and buy that shit, okay? Thank you. I'm just gonna go in with the glue. Just a little thin line. Keep it simple, not too much. It dries clear, so you ain't gotta be too careful. I'm thinking I'm gonna use my used lashes already because I need to stop wasting lashes. I have like a whole bunch of lashes just sitting around. Like, it's like two more pairs up there. Um, but which pair goes? Thank God, which one? I think it's these. I'm gonna do these. I kinda want like a Hmm. What look is this? Like a fall look? Okay, so I guess this will do. So you're gonna let that dry down. And boy, as my eyes are, as the lash glue is drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and with this, y'all. This little sponge is a truth. Like everything I wanted to do, it does. Like I'm not, go get you some on my Amazon storefront. Okay, I'm telling you. Look how easy this is about to blend look y'all it blends in so good like bro two seconds get you one Get you one. I just know I look fine. <sighs> We're just gonna keep taking this sponge using that same sponge. I'll probably use this for the rest of my face, so. It's not going anywhere. Use that same sponge. Cause like the triangle of like the shape of it, it just gets the perfect, it puts the product in the right spot. Real butter. And then for the nose contour, I kind of just like this. No. Do she even need powder? Yeah, I do. But I like the dewy look, kind of. So we're just gonna put a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup under the eye um, and then like carve out the base. Um, we're gonna do that now. So like I said, we're just gonna do a little bit of powder, not too much. I even blow it off a little bit so it's not cakey.
excess and just putting it on the other highlighted areas, the nose, my eyebrows. And now we're gonna go in, I take the back end and I go ahead and contour it too. I'm gonna be using the Julius Place. Um, it's the bronze in deep dark. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like. I don't know. So we're just gonna put this right in. Just a little bit. Can you see where I had messed up my contour originally with the powder? So I'm just gonna go in with that contour right. We're just going to take it on the outside of our face. That's the period. And I do like the contour down here a little bit to make my, because my head long, y'all. So I like to make my cheekbones come out a little bit more so it can be more. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I don't get what I'm saying. I don't know. Okay, well, that's just in there. I'm gonna pop my lashes on because I totally forgot. I'm not gonna lie. Did y'all see that? Did you see that? put no shadow on like how is this even gonna be a fall look i could have did like some like a smoky eye nah it's like the queen of the natural beat like what i love so i'm gonna go in with that same sponge and then we're just gonna put some blush on y'all y'all favorite blush palette it has two shades and I mix them and it gives like this rosy pink and like this burnt rosy pink. Like it's just so cute, okay? It's just so cute. But um, this is the, it's Juvia's Place, that's all I know. <laughs> and it's volume one, it says that right there, but the shit is just gone, I don't know. So I take that same sponge, um, the bottom part and I just put that brush right on top. And then I even carry it adult. Um I even carry it over. I even carry it over like across my nose to give like that little <laughs> and and that's true. Burnt look, especially in the winter because well in the winter and summer to be honest, but in the winter, like I want this like warm look. I'm outside and I got frostbite on my nose. <sighs> okay. Because this is my favorite time of the year. Ho, ho, ho. You might have it up there. Oh my God. Yeah, my friends be telling me I can't hit fans. I think I can, but they be hating, so whatever. So now I'm going to just, oh, dust this off. I can't concentrate. So I'm gonna go in. Yes, Chase. Huh? You wanna get on the pie? No. No idea what is going on right now. So I'm just gonna go in with that Fit Me pressed powder again. And we're just gonna dust it up. Dust, 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 dust. And this is over the whole face, y'all. So it can blend everything together. And y'all, I did not contour my nose. So I think that's a step that I cannot skip. I'm 
I don't really like to do too much when it comes to contour on my nose because my nose is already pointy as heck. So, create some more depth by the eye. You all don't know this contour. Getting a little carried away. This is not professional at all. I honestly don't feel like going back in there and getting a brush. So, bitch. And now, I'm gonna go in with the highlight. And this is the Ofra highlight palette. If y'all not familiar, this is like the OG, like, this, this highlighter is so bomb, like, I like to use this warm, I don't want to dip it upside down because it's broken up, but I like to use this warm, if y'all can see, I like to use the warm shade and then sometimes I'll mix it with this one, but like I said, we're going for a fall look, like a fall wintry, I guess if we're going for a wintry, it could be like a, we're going for a fall glowy dewy look, so yeah, we're going to do the warm color. And just like, just like, just like, come on. Like, I'm gonna put that right on top of the blush. It's a little bit upwards because. And then I like to take my thumb, I mean my pinky, and get my tip real good. And go make sure you go on the bridge of your nose with it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray. Because I feel like I didn't do it. And then what I like to do is I like to, while that's like on my face, I like to go back in with like the powder brush, right? And just tap. Just to blend everything out better. I don't dance, y'all. That's a struggle for me. I do like to go under my eyes. Like, it's looking a little... I guess so, what I did forget, y'all, is to put eyeliner on, so I'm gonna go and do that. And then, let me line my lips, because that's the whole point of this fall look, is the lips. Um, it's just a fall lip for real, for real. Everything else is what I normally do. So this is what, if I pop some gloss on, this is what I do basically for my everyday natural look. But it's fall, so we gotta get in the spirit cause Christmas coming up. And you know, fall is for bold lips. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with this lip pencil. It's brown, but It's gonna, it's brown, but it has like a red tint. So we'll see how this goes. And I do need to get, y'all, I don't have my lip color for fall. It's not the one that I wanted, but we gonna make it do what it do, okay? So I am gonna go ahead. I should have been put this on my lips when I woke up this morning, but y'all, Scentbird sent me this. It's a melting lip balm. Um, it's fresh mint. And y'all, it is the truth, like, let us stuff. Let me show y'all one more time, just in case, because I can't see nothing on the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lip pencil. This is NYX um, Suede Matte Lip Liner. This is in the shade Cold Brew. And y'all, I always order these liners offline, so like when I'm looking for cold, when I was looking for this one, I was actually looking for a deep, dark brown. Like, and this is what it said on the, 
on this site that it was like a deep dark brown, but it has a reddish tint, which I kind of like, because it's exactly what I'm gonna be going for in this video. I like to overdraw my lip now, especially when I wear lipstick. And y'all, uh, as I'm lining my lips, I kind of shade it in as well. I know some people take like that little brush and like brush it together, but me. Look how white my teeth look. <laughs> and we're gonna do a red lippy. This is not a MAC lipstick. That's the only thing I like from MAC. And maybe like they set in spray, but I don't even be wanting to pay $50 for that. <laughs> but I mean, I paid $50 for like that all nighter. Okay, whatever. Y'all, usually this is brighter, but like I said, I use the, uh, I use the, the dark lip pencil. And it's, you have to be really careful with red lipsticks. Like, really careful. Because you want to look like a clown. And I feel like I look like a clown. I just feel like... So this is a look and I'm about to, so I have makeup to do today. Um, so I have makeup to do today. Oh, I always forget something. I do like to take, I do like to take highlighter and put it in like the corner of my eye. All right, so I will see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all, so this is the look. Um. So this is like a nice little cute fall look, really easy to do. It's just like my natural face with a pop of color on the lips and that's it. So it's really simple. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, 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 okay? Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.